Shalom. This is the Caravan of Love and Truth Reconciliation Relationship Series. This is 103. This is called Isaiah 4-4. The man seed versus the woman seed. Now, as always, I want you to take into account the Most High promised us 144,000 in Revelation. And he said that we will have many nations from all nations because he promised Abraham, you know, that his seed which is Isaac and his seed will go on and be blessed with the promise, the seed of the promise. And we will have many Gentiles of many nation who go to the kingdom with us through and by the way of that seed of the promise. Judah is the seed of the promise. They're the direct descendants of Isaac. Now, when we're talking about the male seed, they take that just like uh, the black man. He takes that and he sees his seed as something separate from the black woman in his own glory by itself. You know, he gives himself a lot of credit. He gives himself a whole lot of credit. He's been programmed by piss, this patriarchal indoctrination subjugation syndrome. And even though it hasn't benefited him, it has kept him in eight captivities. He will hold on to this male piss programming all the way to hell. Okay. See, he's more staunch and against the woman seed than a lot of our oppressors are what we know as our traditional oppressors that are not a part of our covenant nation that's not born from our covenant nation. We have had this inside enemy. Since Genesis, since the sons of God went into the daughters of man, he's been propping himself up as the seed within himself outside of God creation of him and his purpose. So in other words, he don't see his seed and his purpose as to serve Judah, the woman seed and purpose. As the most high said, all nations will serve Judah or perish. And when you say all nations will serve Judah and perish. That does not omit the seed from perishing if it do not serve its purpose. If it has no purpose but to be in itself and, and cater to its own glory, then it has forfeited its whole purpose in being on earth. It has forfeited its own purpose in being on earth and it will be written out of the book of life. It's no purpose for it. It's no purpose whatsoever. And this is the same thing of number 102 series when I said the sons of God went into the daughters of man. His purpose was not to serve God, first of all, and what God assigned him to. So at the beginning, he was bucking. He was bucking our heavenly father. At the beginning, he was bucking the heavenly father at the beginning. He was challenging his authority, bucking him, almost telling him to his face, you don't know what you're doing. I'm going to do what I want to do. And this is why they became you know, the fallen. This is why they became the fallen. This is why a lot of them was kicked out, you know. But when they was kicked out, some of the good ones came along with them to watch what they was doing and to keep an eye on them because they was proven to be followers of Satan and just so disobedience who wanted to act like they was equal to the throne of God Almighty. They always wanted to act like they was equal to the throne of God Almighty. So if they thought they was equal to the throne of God Almighty, then they thought they was better than the woman they was created with. Okay? So now this is truth and reconciliation. And in order to move through this caravan of love, you have to have the love of truth and understand it. And you cannot be afraid of the truth. We cannot let fear or, or, or old traditions of men bind us and keep us stagnated. Because our children are dying. Our children are dying in record numbers. And we invested too much human capital in this government for the kingdom of God to prevail and to be overcomers by the blood, the spirit and the water with the power of God, mighty hand guiding us. Therefore, you know, God is not a respecter of persons. I said that on the Internet board and somebody came back and said, what are you talking about? God don't respect nobody but the nation of Israel. And I'm like, right, right. I did say he's not a respecter of persons. He respects the nation of Israel. And if you're not serving the nation of Israel, he don't respect your person. See, and th you see, this is the kind of stupidity 
somebody who's trying to deliver information has to go through it. They'll come back and say, what do you mean? God is not a respecter of person. He don't respect nobody but the nation of Israel. Right. So I'm saying nobody is glorified that is not serving his nation of his inheritance, his holy inheritance that he wanted and put aside for himself as his inheritance. If, you, if you're not serving that, then what is the purpose of your person on this earth? <laughs> really? Because the earth belongs to God Almighty. And if you don't want to serve the nation he chose, you don't have no purpose here, really. And this is why it's going to be a big abyss opened up for a lot of people. A lot of people's going into the abyss. And they're going to be written out of the book of life. Including his original first fruit who wanted to follow Satan and challenge the throne of God Almighty. Think he was equal to God Almighty. So he surely thought he was above the woman's seed. The woman's seed that made him a complete man in the fullness of the spirit, water, and the blood in the image of God. And he's still doing the same thing today. And a lot of these same men will say, well, I blame God because why would he let his people be in this situation like this? And why would he uh, give his uh, only begotten son and let his son be put to death? And, and uh, Jesus Christ don't exist. And then some of you got to even see, this is this, this male seed saying this. I hardly hear this from the women. You know, I feel sorry for the righteous brothers. The righteous, holy brothers have to deal with this karma of these ones who swear they're so intelligent. They swear they're so upright in their own body and their own person and their own little seed that they're still around today bucking the throne of the kingdom of God saying that questioning him talking about well, why he sent his son to that or well, why he let his children do this and if he's so all-powerful well why did he do this oh Jesus is a homosexual you know oh well it ain't no such thing as a messiah Jesus ain't coming this is called the falling off and uh it's alarming it's alarming but it has to happen because this is the ignorance that is now descending in front of your face which means the frequency is moving higher than them and leaving them behind you know see these same seated men never questioned their black brothers among them but they want to go way to the throne of god almighty and challenge the throne of god almighty they never asked the brothers why are you not on the jerusalem wall why have you abandoned your sons at 70 percent why didn't you raise me dad why are you black men not raising us? Why are we not coming together for the younger men coming behind us and setting up programs to get them through, you know, the age of uh, direction, you know, which is like an age of a bar mitzvah where they have their life planned out for them and they can discover what they want to do and move towards their goals in some kind of ceremonial that moves these young babies into a esteem at the time where it would benefit them and they can move towards some esteem for the rest of their life. Now, what you see is an absentee. They can't even raise their sons. They can challenge my holy father. You think you can challenge my holy father? And you can't raise your sons? And you glorify a seed? You glorify the seed, and then when you make the seed, you abandon the seed, and then you challenge the throne of God Almighty. You actually think you could put your dense ego and your weak ass position of your seed that in general black men don't raise. They just let them exist and sprout up and get all these weeds of tares in them. And so to the point that they grow up talking about there's no God and why did God do this? And so they challenge in the throne of God Almighty in ignorance, but they don't challenge their absentee father, you see. None of the men challenged them leaving the Jerusalem wall and running with these Babylon whores. Men don't challenge men today. They argue, but they don't challenge in any kind of formal, intelligent forums. They don't set up juries to judge each other on their behavior. And see, this is why it's going to wind up with the woman. The woman going to wind up judging your ass. And she's going to judge your ass. And you're going to see your seed ain't important within itself at all. Now, I've even heard a guy say, well, why the... Did God send Jesus Christ to die if he was his father? Why would he send his only son? Duh! To show him that he can overcome death so he can prove it to himself. It's like you teaching your son to swim. 
you got to risk drowning in order to learn how to swim. These men need a fast, pray, and repent. The FPR need to be in them with a quickness because their time is getting short. You know, glorifying the glory of the black man, the glory of the black man, the glory of the black man. And once they start looking into it, they start seeing these black men was in all part of the world, all part of the world in their sea glory, letting demons suck the blood of it and creating their enslavers. That's all they did and glorify and that's their glory. So as they start finding this knowledge, they're going to be indicting themselves in front of your face. And I have to talk about this because we got, we got real God man you Eason's. We got real God man you Eason men that I have to defend. I have to defend my sons incarcerated. I have to defend the youth. I have to defend these boys abandoned by their fathers. So it's not that I'm putting down all of them. I'm saying the righteous ones need a defense against these rotten gang greed, pineal gland, who think their seed is glorified within itself. So I mean, talking about, well, if I plant a seed in the earth, it's going to come up with what I plant in it. Huh? The earth? You think you can plant a seed in the earth, which the black woman is the earth, and she don't already have that seed? She's called womb man for a reason. Your seed is already in her. You just germinated. She is the woman seed. You think the earth, as and, and big as it is, don't already contain the seeds that created you? You came from the dirt of the earth. If you're planting it back, you're planting it back to something you already came from. So how do you think you're giving it something? And the black woman is the earth, like it or not. So Isaiah 4.4, 4, these small thinking peon brain who glorify their seed, talking about, oh, she's going to hell. Isaiah 4, 4, 4, chapter 4, verse 4, says she's going to hell because, you know, it's going to be seven women to one man. And and and, her, and, and, the, and the fifth going to be washed away. So now she's the fifth that's going to be washed away. See, and this is a lacking of common sense. If it is going to be seven women to one man, that means it's going to be less men. Who the hell going to be washed away? It's going to be seven women to one man. Because one man, real God man you Eason, is important than all the other six filth. So who you think is going to be washed away? You think the woman is a filth? They're already telling you it's going to be one man to seven women. So evidently the filth that's going to be getting rid of is what's going to be the lesser amount. The man. Or the Men who glorified themselves and thereby made themselves the eternal enemy of a sacred nation. Now, the woman seed of Galatians 4.4 4 confirms this. And when the time was fulfilled, a child was born from the woman seed. That Galatians 4.4 4 matches Isaiah 4.4. 4. So the Most High is starting with judgment of Isaiah 4.4. 4 of his nation and his sons that thought they can challenge his throne and they so busy challenging his throne and hating his daughters that they can't raise their own sons but yet they glorifying the seed while they trashing the seed all over the place you glorifying the trashing it and then you brag well that's why 70 percent of you alone is raising with men alone and then you got all your sons looking at the women because, see, they ain't got the sense because you ain't give them no sense. See, and they can't draw no manhood to look at you as a man and as men and say, what happened, brothers? What happened? Why did you throw us away? Why didn't you develop any uh, developmental programs for us? Why didn't you de develop any manhood training for us in your communities? A lot of you have military training. Why didn't you help us give us some of that discipline? Maybe an hour or two on a Saturday or a Sunday. Why did you put your middle finger up at my mother when she asked you for a few dollars? Why did you not even call me to see whether I was living or dead? This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. This is um, Caravan, the woman seed versus the man seed, Isaiah 4.4. 4.